Eyes gently close. Face with your most pleasant and a peaceful smile. Heart with lots of curiosity. Mind with many thoughts. Let us start this session with deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, long and deep, inhale, slow and complete, exhale, Omkar chanting, three times, Inhale. Oh, 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 oh. Inhale. Longer and louder. Inhale. Feel the vibrations and the resonance of Umkar in your complete body and mind and try to maintain the same physical, mental strength and the balance in your further practice. Bring both your palms together. Gently rub them. Place it on your eyes. Blink your eyes inside your palms. Very gently open them. Looking into your palms. Happy morning once again. Okay, guys. So it's a beautiful morning. <clears throat> my throat is not supporting me today. But I try to send all my energies to you all with a very beautiful meditation session, Panch Kosha meditation. Okay? Now before going into the practices, you must understand what are these Panch Kosh or what are these five sheets of your body. Okay? So as you know, the name itself suggests Something is related to number five. Koshas are the cells, okay? Or the sheets with which your complete body, your mind and your soul has been created. So when we talk about our body, the body is divided into five different, you can say layers. Simple language, if you want So the body is made of five different layers, okay? It's not only your physical body, which is visible to you, which is visible to others. There is something inside you. There is something very deep inside you. So slowly and gradually with today's meditation process, we will try to take a journey from our outer physical body to the internal causal body. That what is the purpose of this sharir? What is the purpose of this body? Why we are in this world in the form of a human being? There are 84 crores, you know, we say 84 crore in the world, in the universe. Mein. So why God has chosen us to make a human being? So if we are a human being, we have a human being, so there must be a purpose. Otherwise, we could have become a bird, we could have become a fish, or a dog, or a cat, or any other thing. But if God has chosen our soul to make a human body, then there must be a purpose behind that. So in today's session, we will try to find out. It is very difficult, very challenging. Eight session it's not possible to understand the purpose of your life. Okay? People take years. But in today's session, we will at least try to touch that. So where we can become better, where we can reform ourselves. Okay, so in today's session, it's a journey. It's a beautiful journey. Journey, not somewhere else, 
मेन एरोप्लेन या बस वाली जर्नी नहीं है इट्स अ जर्नी विद इन ये आपकी अंतर मन की यात्रा है ठीक है थोड़ा मुश्किल होता है खुद से बातें करना ठीक है पीपल खुद से बातें कर रहा है तो इट्स लाइक दैट ठीक है बट समाइम्स इट इज गुड टू इवेल्युएट योर अपने अंदर जो को अपने अंदर के अस्तित्व को पहचानने की कोशिश करो ओके सो दिस इज द पर्पज ऑफ टूडे सेशन नाउ What are these punch koshas? According to every kosh, we will be doing the practices. Okay. What is this requirement to heal that kosha? We'll be doing our practices accordingly. So when we talk about those five sheets, so it starts from your physical body. Okay. So the first kosha, the name. जब आपको नाम पता होंगे, so when you will be practicing, you'll be easily able to relate yourself more. तब आपको समझ आएगा कि आप exactly अपने शरीर के किस हिस्से पर काम कर रहे हैं. So when we talk about the first, the outermost layer, it is the anmai or vasmai kosh. Now the body is made of what? It is made of food. It is made of grain. Whatever you eat, it keeps you healthy. Whatever you do, it makes you strong. So when you want to talk about your anamai kosh, ये सब कुछ जो आप देख सकते हो, anything which you can touch, which can be seen by the other people, your bhautik sharir, your, you know, stool body, जिसको हम stool sharir कहते हैं, जो physically visible है, okay? Then now who regulates it? Body is working itself? No, there is something. There are some energies which are regulating your body. Now the role comes of your second sheet. Abhi andar jani ki koshish kare. Abhi body kis se chal rahi hai? The body is working. It is being regulated by your pranic urja, your breathing. So the second kosha is your pran mahi kosh. Okay? That means your pranas, your urjas, your energies. So when we talk about the life which is running either nicely or or with so many illness. It is all because of the blockages in your pran kosha. So the second kosha, when you go a little inside, it is your pran mahi kosh. Third, pran hai, sharir hai. Ab usme kuch aur bhi hota hai, okay? Which regulates everything. Man hai, to amne saanse rok li. Man hai, to amne saanse tej le li. Man hai, to amne saanse bilkul dheeli chhod li. So everything is being regulated by your third kosha, that is your manomai kosh. Okay, now you are going from your stool shari to your shukshma shari. Abhi aap aur andar journey shuru kar chuke hai. So your manomai kosh creates your thoughts. It can be any kind of thoughts, all your emotions. Love, anger, which are jo poore din aapke time. Abhi bhi what I am saying. 60% is going to your ears, 40% mind is working somewhere else. Physically you are present here, but mentally you are somewhere else. हो सकता है किसी को बच्चों का टिफिन प्रिपेयर करना हो, ठीक है? हो सकता है समथिंग हैज हैपन बिकॉज़ द टाइम ऑफ सेशन हैज बीन चेंज्ड. सो फिजिकली यू आर प्रेजेंट, योर ब्रीथिंग इज वर्किंग ऑन योर बॉडी. सांस चल रही है, प्राण चल रहे हैं, शरीर बैठा है. लेकिन मन कहीं घूम रहा है, ठीक है? Not 100%, 20, 30, 40%. Now the next thing comes your vijyan mahi kosh. Abhi man se bhi aage aata hai ek aur aapka antar man. Okay? You know the word intuition ki aaj nahi chalte ma, kal chalte hai, aaj mera man kuch achcha nahi lag raha hai. You must have experienced this thing. Ki abhi nahi unko baat karti hu, kal baat karti hu. Okay? So what is that? Aapka shariir keh raha hai, aapki saase keh rahi hai, aapka man bhi keh raha hai. लेकिन आपका अंतर मन यानी योर विज्ञान में ही कोश डेट मींस द इंट्यूटिव शी द इंट्यूटिव बॉडी इस सेइंग नो समथिंग इस आइडर नॉट गुड और समथिंग इस नॉट यू नो बैड सो दैट इस योर इंट्यूशन जहाँ पर आपके मन से भी ऊपर एक अंतर मन होता है व्हिच गिव्स यू द सेंस ऑफ रीजनिंग यानी कि आपकी वो विचार जो आपको which makes you capable to choose between right and wrong, to choose something today or tomorrow, ठीक है? कि नहीं ये काम मुझे आज करना है और नहीं ये काम हम कल पे टाल सकते हैं। So that is not because of your body, mind and brain. It is because of your intuitions. 
Either you are prepared today for something or you will be prepared after some days. So that four sheep is Vigyan Mayi Kosh. That is all depends on your intuitions, your sense of reasoning. Aapki wo baham hai jo aapko sahi aur galat ka gyan karwati hai. Now when all these areas are healed, when your body is healthy, when your pranas are supporting you, when your vichar, your man is in your control, when your intuitions are always positive, that means you are into a blissful state. And that is the purpose of your life, the Anand Mai Kosh. We are here not to suffer, neither physically nor mentally. We are here to enjoy this blissful life of a human being. So, our purpose kya hai shari ka anand mai koshta ki yatra ko bhoot sukhat tarike se karna. Okay? That means, ne aap physically bimar ho, to aap apne shari par kaam kariye. So, when we talk about anand mai kosh, what you can do? You can do asanas, you can enjoy your environment. When you talk about your prana mai kosh, what you can do? You can do breathing practices. Aap pranayam kar sakte hai to keep it always healthy and heal. When we talk about our Manumai and Vigyan Mai Kosh, you can do meditation to keep them heal always, to keep them healthy, to keep them positive. And when you work this much on your these four sheets, then you will be able to touch, touch, not to reach, not to achieve. Aap pohonch paayenge, sir, usko chhu paayenge, apne us blissful state ko. Blissful state of body, blissful state of your pranas, blissful state of your mind. And that is the extreme ecstasy for which every human being is here in this world, not to suffer. God has not made us for suffering. He has made us to enjoy. This is all our created world where either we can enjoy, we can live happily, or we can suffer with a with misery. Okay, so the layers are clear. So from where we have to start our journey, station kya hai amara pehla, amara shari. So when we have to work on our shari, what we are going to do, we'll be practicing some asanas. Not very intense asanas, we'll be join, doing some joint movements. So you can feel your body. Try to keep your eyes closed throughout the session today. Chike? I'll take you to one sheet to another sheet. Slowly and gradually, one by one, just try to leave. Jab aage badho, pishla station chhodte jana. शरीर में अटक गए तो प्राण तक नहीं पहुंच पाओगे प्राणों में अटक गए तो मन तक नहीं पहुंच पाओगे मन तक अटक गए तो आगे नहीं पहुंच पाओगे एंड हमें पहुंचना है आनंद में यानी कि एट द एंड वी शुड माइट बी हैविंग टीयर्स इन योर आई बिग स्माइल रोना है रो लीजिएगा व्हाटएवर सो ट्राई टू टच दैट एसेंस ऑफ योर बॉडी एसेंस ऑफ योर एग्जिस्टेंस टू डू ओके ठीक है जी सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ जर्नी कहीं ट्रैकिंग पे जाते तो पूरी लिस्ट आती है ना कि ये 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 ले लेना है सो ये 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 आपको छोड़ते जाना है यू आर राइजिंग हाई टुडे ओके सो बिहेव लाइक अ माउंटेन माउंटेन्स को देखो नीचे यू विल गेट सो मेनी ट्रीज बरा हुआ जंगल है एज द माउंटेन्स राइज इज हाई दे आर लीविंग एवरीथिंग बिहाइंड वो अपने वस्त्र छोड़ते जाते हैं वो अपने पेड़ पत्ते आप टॉप ऑफ द माउंटेन पीक यू डोंट फाइंड अ सिंगल ट्री Because now it is leaving everything behind because it is going to the height. So the height of today's session is to feel your existence, is to feel that happiness and the bliss. Okay, done. Chale. Abhi, sit in a very comfortable position. Okay, now we are closing eyes. Now we'll be opening it at the end when you will in the state of your maximum happiness, ecstasy, or the bliss. Okay? Chant. Just give me a second. Dekho. Anna Mai Kosh ne kya kaha? Ki pura dikho. Chike? Aga dikke. You won't give that impact. Chalye ji. Eyes closed. Hands mudra can be gyan mudra. Or Siddha Mudra. If you don't want to have any Mudra, you can keep your palms open as you feel comfortable. No extra burden. No extra tension. Just try to feel the first sheet of your body. 
the animal coach your physical body aapka bhautik sharir now take a deep inhale exhale with every breath try to feel each and every body part of yours which is touching to the ground feel the weight of your body feel the complexion of your skin feel the suppleness and softness of your skin feel the strength of each and every body part of yours your spine your neck your strong arms your hip bone your ankles your knees your calves each and every body part on which right now your body is sitting or depend for its strength now visualize your spine and feel and feel the importance of your spine in your body ab ye bhi ki hadi ko mehsoos kare और उसके महत्व को महसूस करें अपने शरीर में जस्ट थिंक फॉर अ सेकेंड अ बॉडी विदाउट अ स्पाइन यू कैन नॉट इवन इमेजिन द एक्सिस्टेंस द स्ट्रेंथ द स्टेबिलिटी स्पाइन is the base of your strength base of your body base of your pranic energies and your strength and flexibility mm -hmm. so with some spinal moves we will be connecting more to our physical body स्पाइन के मूवमेंट के साथ अपने भौतिक शरीर से थोड़ा और जुड़ने का प्रयास करेंगे द मूव आर वेरी सिंपल विद एवरी इनहेल स्ट्रेच योर आर्म्स अप हंट आर्च योर बैक विद एवरी एक्सेल हंच योर बैक दर्च इन हंच इनहेल स्ट्रेच physical body it's a strength by giving a very gentle and mild stretches to your spine the more mobility and flexibility in your spine the first layer is made of home the environment around you the kind of people around you the kind of energies around you आपका भौतिक शरीर जिस प्रकार का भोजन आप लेते हैं जिस प्रकार के वातावरण में आप रहते हैं जिन लोगों के साथ जिन ऊर्जा में आप रहते हैं उन सब से बना हुआ है 
and if you don't take care of it, it is the first layer which disturbs its sequence as early as possible. So, if you are doing a lot of things, you can do a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. You can do Let the nature heal your body. Let the practices and the exercises heal itself. Now, leaving your physical body behind. Try to take one step inside and we'll reach to the pranas. Pranas, your breathes, your breathing energies, that energy which keeps us alive, active, or sometimes passive. Your breath is your vital force. Aapki saase, aapki jirni shakti hai. The kind of control you have on your breath, the kind of stability will be there in your actions. Chitna aapka saaso par niyantran, utna hi aapki kari shamka utta. So value each and every breath of yours and try to feel them deeply with the coming pranayam practices. One long and deep inhale. One long and relaxed exhale. Ek bar aur lambi gehri saans me. Ek lambi gehri saans chhode. To activate your pranas, we will be doing fire breath. It is just like the breathing pattern is which we do in Shakti Kriya. With both nostrils, inhale, exhale, the same frequency. We'll be doing 20 strokes. So inhale, exhale. Let's start with strokes. Complete exam. Feel that activation, that clarity in both your right and left nostril and the nasal passages. Now we'll be practicing seven rounds of Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Left hand, Gyan Mudra. Right hand, Prana Mudra. Anulom Vilom, without any noise. With every inhale and exhale, try to go deeper into your breath and try to feel them with a better connectivity to your body and breath. Close your right nostril. Left inhale. Right exhale. Right inhale, left exhale, left inhale, right exhale, right inhale. Left exhale. Next five rounds in your own deep silence.
without any sounds of rain. Feel that activation of both your Pira and Tela Nariis with the Anilog Vilog Abhyas. Feel that balance in both your left and right hemispheres of rain. And with every inhale, exhale, feel that each and every nerves and the neurons of your body are getting healed, balanced, nurtured, and charged with lots of energies. Completing your cycle from left nostril, release your hand, release your mudra. Now enjoy this balancing state of your body and breathe. Now your body and your breathe are coordinating with each other nicely, positively, without any disturbance. Now taking your journey, one more step inside. We'll try to reach to our Mano Mani Kosh. Man, which is movable. Man, which is movable. Which cannot be stable at one place. मन आपके विचारों से आपकी भावनाओं से बनावा शरीर का वह हिस्सा विच कैन ओनली बी फेल्ट कैन नॉट बी सी आपका मन आपके विचारों को आपकी भावनाओं को जो जाए वो दिशा दे सकता है Controlling your mind is always very challenging. Now let your mind work freely. Apne man ko bilkul rokne ka prayas na kare. Hame jo bhi vichar, jo bhi bahana hai aari hai, unhe nani ho jane. Just, if you can do, then try not to stuck to any one particular feeling or emotion or the thought. Just like your mind is free, keep yourself free when you are having so many thoughts inside your body and mind. Apne man ke vichar ko vahane dein, achche vichar, bure vichar, good thoughts, bad thoughts, Thoughts which are positive, thoughts which are negative. Let them come and go. Don't stop yourself with any single thought or emotion. Just try to flow with them. Mehsoos kare apne man ko idhar, udhar, ek vichar se dousre vichar par. Now very gently try to collect your thoughts. Apni vicharu ko ikhatta karne ka prayas kare. All the thoughts, all the emotions which are scattered here and there, try to bring them Closer. Try to collect them one by one. Without any force, without any extra efforts. When you will be collecting them, you will feel, you will realize that so many thoughts are becoming resisting. Now, if possible, try to keep yourself stable on a single thought or an emotion. It might be a good thought, a positive emotion, 
a negative emotion, the emotion of love, <coughs> affection, kindness, or anger, rage, jealousy, whatever it is. Try to stop yourself at one point. Apne aapko ek point par rokne ka prayas kar. Take the support of your physical and your primary strength. Apne shari par apne prano ka support le. Apne man ko niyantrit kar le. Then you can stop at one point, then try to enjoy that thought, enjoy that emotion. Sir, apne shari mein, apne man mein, ek maat vichar ko mehsoos kare. Mehsoos kare with that thought, with that emotion, how you are living your life. If it's a positive thought, positive emotion, you are happy. But if it is a negative thought, negative emotion, you are suffering. Very gently release that negative emotion, negative thought from your body. With our next inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. To become more and more balanced in your body, free and mind, five rounds of Omkar chanting. Inhale. Your Manu main coach is a connecting plane between your world, soul and body shari to your shushma shari. So, jab aapka control aapke man par, aapke vicharo par hai, tabhi aap apne yatra aur aage bada sakti. So, feel that balance, feel that control and slowly and gradually and happily Take one more step inside. Now we are at our fourth layer, fourth sheen of our body, that is Vikyan Mai Kosh. Vikyan Mai Kosh consists your sense of reasoning. It is the layer of wisdom. It is the layer of the right or wrong choices in your life. It's an intuitive state of mind which connects your mind, your vichar, your thoughts to something good or bad in our life. To reach to Vigyan Mai Kosh itself is a good challenge for a practitioner. Because we make so many wrong or negative decisions in our life, and after that, we just regret. So, when you have 
अहीर विज्ञान नई कोश a strong and a healthy vigyan nahi kosh that you only think twice before doing something before acting something before speaking something so whatever is done by a human body either through your words your thoughts or your action your vigyan nahi kosh is responsible for it मनसा वाचा करना जो भी काम हम अपने मन से अपने विचारों से अपनी वाणी से या अपने कर्मों से जो करते हैं वो सभी आपके विज्ञान में ही कोष के द्वारा नियंत्रित किए जाते हैं इफ यू आर हैविंग नेगेटिव थॉट फॉर समबडी इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ अस्टर्ब विज्ञान में ही कोष If you are speaking ill for others, gossiping, saying something behind somebody's back, it is because of the disturbed vijnan language. And without speaking or thinking anything ill for others, if you are doing something wrong with your actions. Again, your vijnan nahi kosh is responsible for that. So now the challenge is more difficult. You can control your body, you can control your brain, you can even control your mind. But to control your vijnan nahi kosh with that consciousness is always challenging. And now here, the role of meditation comes. When you spare some time every day to meditate, to talk to your own soul, it will heal your vijnan nai kosh. It will keep it stable, and then, neither knowingly or unknowingly. You will ever, ever hurt anyone else. We'll be doing aja baja or the soham meditation without uttering a single word. Just focus on your breathing. With every inhale, feel that your body, your mind, your breathing is chanting the sound of so. And with every exhale, it is chanting the sound of hum. Let's start. With the sound of so, inhale. With the sound of hum, exhale. I'll be giving you the sound with my instructions. You will be inhaling and exhaling. So, hum. So, hum. So, hum. So. Um. 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 So come. The legs will be. The legs will be on the couch. By the chanting, 
and the vibrations in your feet. If your Vikram may push his heel, you never judge people. You never become prejudiced for others. You see the things and the people around you as it is. Jo jaisa hai, wo vaisa hai. Without my judgments, without my evaluation, without my criticism. And if you can keep that much clarity in your mind, you will always see happiness, beauty, peace, and positivity around you. Now when you feel that your body is completely relaxed, stable, strong, your breathing is under your control, your thoughts, your mind, is more stable from the moment we started the session. Your intuitions, your reasons have become much clearer for people, for your own self. Then you are able to take one more step ahead and to feel the soul the sense of your existence, the divine light which keeps you alive, which keeps you agile, which keeps you active, happy, and strong. Now start collecting your body from your first layer to your fifth layer. Slowly and gradually feel that your body is disappearing. There is no body at all. Aapka pura shari dheere dheere vidi ho raha hai, ho raha hai. There is no sense of body. Now gradually feel there is no breathing, no breath, no pranas. It is all that divine energy which is regulating you right now at this moment. <laughs> Now very sensibly feel that there are no emotions, no thoughts, no judgments, no criticism, nothing good, nothing bad. Pesos kare apka shari. धीरे धीरे अंतर्मन की यात्रा में अपने गंतव्य तक पहुंचते हुए योर बॉडी योर एक्सिस्टेंस इज अबाउट टू रीच टू इट्स सेंस एट दिस मोमेंट यू आर विदाउट बॉडी विदाउट ब्री विदाउट माइंड विदाउट थॉट विदाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ जजमेंट्स then what remains? A light, the divinity, the peace, the purity, the bliss, the innocence with which God has sent us all on this earth. महसूस करें अपने पूरे अस्तित्व को एक ज्योति पुंज में समेटता हुआ देर इज नो बॉडी नो ब्रीथ नो माइंड नो एक्शन नो थॉट ओनली अ डॉट ऑफ लाइफ 
the light, which is pure, the light, which is untouched by any kind of impurity, the light, which is ready to light the other's light, the light full of hope, the light full of happiness, light full of positivity, motivation, and bliss. Light is the symbol of brightness, light is the symbol of happiness, light is the symbol of hope. So, the poor Shari boy, Joti Punjke Rupen has so studied. Jonas will cook home, but you do so for me, Prakashu, for any day, a The light, which is not only for your own self, but the light, which is ready to bring the happiness in others' lives as well. At this moment, if you are feeling heaviness in your body, feel it. If you are feeling lightness in your body, feel it. If you feel nothing, feel it. This is the state. This is the bliss. This is the union. This is the connectivity to the energies which is divine, which is supreme, which is above all, all the sufferings and the miseries of this world. Apne arend mei ko, apne prasanata ke is moment ko mehsoos kare, agle kuch shano par. अपने छोटी पंच के प्रकाश को बर्तावा महसूस करें अगले कुछ शनों पर तो ओलियन बैजुली ट्राई टू फील दैट द साइज ऑफ दैट लाइट इज इंक्रीजिंग स्लोली एंड बैजुली एंड इट इज स्प्रेडिंग ऑल अराउंड यू उस प्रकाश को पूरे संसार में फैलता हुआ महसूस करें अपने आसपास के वातावरण में अपने आसपास जो भी व्यक्ति वस्तु उन सब में फील योर सेल्फ एज इट सोर्स ऑफ डिवाइन एनर्जी विच इज रेडी टू हील एवरी वन बॉडी इन टू योर ब्रीन by moving your fingers and toes try to become again aware about your body about your breathing because your body your breathing are the channel to take you to the blissful state apne pairon ko hilana chahte hain to hilaye अपने हाथों को हिलाएं, अपनी गर्दन को राइट लेफ्ट अप डाउन मूवमेंट कराएं, अपनी सांसों के अंदर और बाहर आवागमन को महसूस करें अपने पूरे शरीर को एक बार फिर से महसूस करें
चेहरे पर प्रसन्नता का भाव रखते हुए जर्नी विच यू हैव स्टार्टेड पी एंड एंजॉय द होल प्रोसेस बाय टचिंग ईच एंड एवरी एवरी लेयर ऑफ योर बॉडी फील दैट यस आई वाज एबल टू अचीव आई वाज एबल टू रीच टू माय डेस्टिनेशन इवन फॉर अ सिंगल सेकंड और अ माइक्रो सेकंड Now bring both your palms together. With a lot of gratitude for your body, for your brain, for your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your intuitions, and the things within you. Heart full of gratitude. Prayers to heal the whole universe with your healing prayers. Oh, Arvind Bhavan Sukhi Nama, Sarve Santu Nirapmaya. Sarve Bhattrani Pachyantu Mahakashtitu Khaadbhave Om Shanti 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 Loka Samastha Sukhina Bhavatu सिर्फ मैं नहीं संसार के समस्त प्राणी सुखी हो स्वस्थ हो संपन्न हो इन्हीं भावनाओं के साथ आप योर पाम्स जेंटली प्लेस इट ऑन योर आईज प्लेंट योर आईज इनसाइड योर पाम्स फील द एनर्जी टू द गैप ऑफ योर फिंगर्स Once again, nice energetic coming. Now relax your complete body from head to toe with lots of love, kindness, gratitude, and respect. Now if you feel, you can open your eyes very gently. And if you want to still, Spend few more minutes into that state of happiness and bliss. You can keep your eyes closed. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, Z. So this is all about the journey from your outer body. your inner body i hope as i said at the end even for a second or a microsecond if you could feel that the session is achieved if you can realize that you did it correctly okay ji all okay theek ho sabhi chalo that's wonderful ji ritu ji it's a beautiful beginning of the weekend okay जी, I felt my body very light at the end of the session. Like when I, uh, हाँ, when you said come back, नहीं देखो, like हाँ. you are saying you felt it light. There might be some members who felt it very heavy. No, that only I'm telling. Heavy like, heavy as a rock. हाँ, no, I felt it so light. I did not feel my body. Either it was numb. I don't know what happened. But when you said come back. I was really when you told me uh, told told us to move the hands and fingers. I, my I was feeling the body very heavy, as if I've come from some other place. You have to you have to bring it back from somewhere. Yeah. When when you go there. in the pool, when you go in the pool, you feel very light. When you come right. back, you feel very heavy. And that was the thing actually, and I have whole goosebumps on my body. 
goosebumps. Actually, today I also felt the goosebumps. Yeah. Today you can see right now. I am yeah, right now. I am talking and I have the whole goosebumps on my body. Like I thought because of the pain in my leg, like the foot is still paining, the left one. So I thought I won't be able to sit because usually I sit for the meditation. So yes. I just uh, see that my foot is on some cushion or something. So I was not ready for today. I was late. So I just said I, I thought I won't be able to sit. But uh, really I was able to do that. Yes, yes in the middle I, I just uh, pulled my leg the one or the other place. But uh, the, in the end it was really very nice. Very Thank very. You. Thank, Thank you so you much for me. that. Thank you. Zeevi Baji. बहुत कुल लगा मैंने तो पूरा सवासन में किया है या तो इतना बॉडी हल्का हो गया है बहुत अच्छा लगा लाइटनेस बहुत मजा है बहुत अच्छी बात है इफ यू आर फीलिंग लाइटनेस देन डेफिनेटली वो हमारा सेशन का पर्पस था व्हिच दैट वी वी कुड फुलफिल ओके व्हेन वी आर लाइट यस यू हैव रिलीज ऑल द टॉक्सिंस We have re when you have released all the negative negativities, negative emotions from your body. So, जब जो चीजें heavy है हमारे mind पर, हमारे heart पर, हमारे you know body पर. When you release them slowly and, and see guys, as I already mentioned, it's not a single sitting task. ऐसा नहीं है कि आज ही एक दिन में you know <laughs> we will be all okay, we will be all divine. It is it it should be done frequently. Whenever you have time, try to connect to your inner senses all the time. because that is the sense which is regulating us all which is keeping us positive which is keeping us strong in any of the senses so jitna hum body ko nurture karte hain with food ye food organic food healthy food what about the food of your soul there is a soul living inside after that you will be just a body it is all your soul so when there is something which we know it is alive it is regulating each and every actions of our of, of ours each and every words of ours so what is the nourishment for that soul so these kind of sessions are the food for your soul aapke sharir ko aaj kuch nahi hilaya humne theek hai we did not do with our body but we have nurtured our soul and if you do, did it rightly agar aapne isko actual sense mein mehsoos kiya hoga kiya hoga to ye aapke agle 10 din ka khana mil gaya aapki aatma ko theek hai na you will be happier you will be more positive you will be more responsive okay you will be more adaptive jo cheeze resist karte wo na karke aap cheezon ko adapt karoge unko resist nahi karoge so this is the way one day one hour you prepare your soul for 10 10 days happiness so that is that is the bliss okay chalo happy weekend to you all thank, thank you so much, much. anybody thank else want to say anything thank you.